Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're still at the Edmonton Boat Show. We're going to show you the Stabycraft 2500. So basically you're looking at the uh, 2500 here. This has the uh, extra high bow rail on it, which is an option. You can see the lines of this boat. It's called the extended, it's called an XL, which means it's got the extended cabin. That's the only option that there is in this boat right now. So this boat's primarily designed for the adventure offshore fishermen that uh, might want to spend a night or two on the boat and uh, conquer really any waters out there because this is a large boat. It's made for big water. It's going to be safe as can be. It's going to give you the same performance characteristics as the rest of the Stabie Craft boats, which means it's going to get on step and stay on step at very slow speeds. It's going to give you a really smooth, soft ride in the rough water. This does have a 19 degree dead rise, so it's actually got the largest dead rise of uh, all our boats. It's a 101 inch beam, so it's, uh, it's wider, it's larger, it, it's just an all around larger boat with uh, more freeboard just made for the larger water. Since we're standing here, the trailer that's under this boat is an upgraded uh, 7900 uh, aluminum I-beam easy loader trailer. So it's just a great trailer. It's going to give you the lowest profile. It's going to be easy on off. It's got the electric over hydraulic brakes on this one here. So that's a great feature. So you've got disc brakes, which are better compatible in salt water, less maintenance, less corrosion, and uh, just a better, it's really just the top end line trailer that you're going to get for this package. We're a little bit tight here, but as we move down the side, you can see that we got dual bumpers on the side built into the hull. This has got the uh, combings on the side. Of course, you got your nice machined cleats on here like every Stabycraft boat has. This one is packaged with twin 150s. We've got the auxiliary kicker bracket here, which means that and this is an option that can be added for the person that may want one. This boat's going to generally get packaged with either twin 150s, twin 175s, or twin 200s. We recently had uh, 2500 out on the water in uh, Salmon Arm, and uh, it was tested with twin 150s. And the performance on this boat is very, very good. You can refer to our website for all the uh, specs on the boat and we have performance bulletins showing you the fuel burn, the acceleration, uh, very, very strong performance with the twin 150s. In fact, uh, with a single engine, with one engine raised, we almost achieved maximum RPMs. And if I remember right, uh, I think the boat uh, with the twin engines, it's a 46 mile an hour boat. And with one engine, we were achieving like 35, 36 miles an hour. So really, really strong performance. It just tells you how easy this boat is to push. If you look at the back of the transom, this is the, similar to our 2250. If you had a single engine on here, it'd be a 30 inch leg with twins because of the 19 degree V bottom, we're running uh, two 25 inch legs here. This like every Stabycraft boat has the game chaser transom, meaning that this boat backs up very well. So this boat in reverse, you're, you know, you'll get eight, nine, 10 miles an hour, maybe even a little bit more in reverse. And the directional control in reverse is almost as good as it is going forward. We've removed the uh, ladder off of this boat for the boat show just to make it a little bit easier to access, but it'll be the very same ladder that you see on the 22 foot sitting here next to it. So what we have here is you got a hand rail to grab onto as you come up the ladder. You got a flip seat here. This, like most of our walkthrough Stabie crafts, there's a uh, filler that goes in here. So if you are back trolling or you got rough water and you want to have the additional freeboard, this simply slides in and out. In most cases, it can be just left out. You got a flip seat here that you can use as a seat or a step to get in and out. There's a flip down transom seat on uh, both sides of the boat that you can see as you enter the cockpit area here. Here we have a uh, live bait tank. So this can be used for uh, crab in our neck of the woods. It's basically an aquarium where you can uh, see your bait as well. 
In here is the uh, battery storage. As far as the uh, rear cockpit here, what you've got is you can see your pontoons on the side, the air chambers. We won't talk about that anymore. That's Stavy Craft's design of the boat. So like every Stavy Craft boat, this is basically an unsinkable boat. You've got uh, three air chambers here. So it's basically just like an inflatable boat, except it's built out of aluminum. This floor is all sealed. Any water, anything that gets in here is going to run into the bilge in the back and you're going to have auto bilge pumps that's going to pump the water overboard. We've got a wash down pump here, which is an option that's included. You can see the BP battery switches back here. Like every Stabie Craft boat, extremely wide gunnels. On the 2500, these gunnels do have a taper that goes up on the outside. For comfort, you've basically got seating all along the gunnels on both sides. You've got a place to keep your feet here. So if you're out here fishing, watching your lines, this is a great place to be. As talking about the gunnels, if you do want to access the uh, bow of the boat, to walk on these gunnels is extremely easy. I've got a place to hang on to here and I can walk around here really very unobstructed. So if I want to get up to my winch, if I want to fish off the bow of the boat, we showed you on the floor, this has got the extra high bow rails. I can stand up here in a lot of comfort. Like we talked about on the 22 foot boat, because the nose of the Staby Craft boat is fairly blunt, this 25 foot almost gives me the useful space of a 26 or 27 foot because of this area up here, instead of coming just to a point, I've actually got a useful area here that I can walk around in and use. You can see the roof, which offers additional storage for anything you might want to put up there, an inflatable, paddle boards, whatever it may be. A few more features while we're in the after deck here is uh, the, uh, this has got upgraded stainless steel rod holders. We've got three cup holders and tool holders back here. Again, flip up seat on both sides. You've got four more rod holders, two more cup holder, two holders in the back. We've got the rod holders on the roof. We've got the grab handle here. So if anybody's standing back here, when underway, you've got something to hang on to. The door quality of the cabin. It's a very robust door. Everything fits tight, reduces rattles, keeps the boat quieter. We've got huge in-floor fish storage back here. This actually goes quite far forward. It actually joins another compartment in the cabin, which we'll show you. You can have those joined or you can put a plug in and separate them. The hose that you see there is the feed to the optional flush toilet that we have in this boat as well. In the cabin, what I've done here is I've put the extended galley uh, table down. So this piece here actually easily removes and it fits right back here. I won't put it all together. So you can have the option of the extended galley countertop or you can have an additional seat there. On the port side, You've got great seating here with excellent visibility. You have a fridge underneath here in the corner. This table is very unique. It's up and out of the way right now. You don't even know it's there. Press of a button, this flips down. This folds out. This seat flips both directions. And there you've got a table with a couple of cup holders. So very slick. This seat, as we just showed you, can flip in either direction, depending which way you want to face. We'll just put this table up out of our way for right now. You still got your two cup holders there. This is a four berth galley. So basically you've got a berth here. So to make this into a berth, this is just gonna come up, fold down. We have a, a filler that goes in here. And then this will have a filler. So basically what you have is an L berth here. As we move uh, forward in the cabin, a number of things to point out here. 
this is also pretty slick. Here's a spice cabinet built in. More storage underneath here. We've got a sink with fresh water. We've got a burner. This has got a diesel heater in it as well. If you look at the uh, drawers here, again, more storage. Very robust, high quality hinges and hardware. We've got more storage underneath that seating area there. This has got the driver air wave suspension seat. So that's similar to a shock wave. It's an air wave, it works very similar. So that's gonna give you the ultimate ride. Lots of storage compartments everywhere, as you can see on the sides, there, there. Controls are well laid out, easy to access. We have lots of room to pretty much mount any size of electronics that you want here. This is actually a standard bolster seat in this boat. So you've got an option of which position you want that seat in. Uh, on the port side of the boat, more storage there, more storage there. You got, instead of just a small concealed glove box, you got a nice wide open space with cup holder, two holders in it, USB ports in it. Now, when it comes to the, the front berth in this boat, what's unique here is that these just simply flip up on either side. So that gives you a place for your feet to rest. These cushions just simply come out in different configurations, very simple. So I'll just show you where we also have a head here. So there's your flush head. There's storage underneath all these cushions. There's storage on the sides in the V berth. You can see there's the large hatch over top of you. And like the 2250 Staby craft, what you've got here is this is designed so that when you sleep in here, you can keep your head to this side. You can put your feet to the narrower part of the berth because this is raised so that whether you're anchored or parked on shore, typically your bow is higher. So this configuration is designed so you can have your head on this side and not be lower. So that's a very important uh, feature in my opinion. And as far as the rest of the cabin is concerned, you can just see everything is nicely finished. Your visibility is awesome. Again, you know, Stabycraft does the tighter windows. This boat's designed that if you're crashing big water and you do have waves that are blowing up, you've got a lot of strength. You know, if you look at the Aluminum versus the size of the glass. This boat's designed for the extreme conditions of whatever you're probably going to encounter out there. Hopefully this uh, video of the Stabycraft 2500 has uh, helped you understand the boat a little bit better. As usual, uh, please uh, subscribe and like us if you want to see more videos like this in the future.